welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Shayna Marie Apple, and I am so thankful to have you back here with me on yet another video. So in today's video, we are going to be going over five study resources that are going to help you to take your study game to the next level. Um, if you want to go deeper into your word and to really understanding the word and really just getting a more, um, gaining more knowledge in the word, then these tools are going to help you tremendously. Industry. So if you don't, if you're not familiar with this channel, and if you're not familiar with me, then welcome to this channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Shannon Marie Alpha, as I said, and my goal on this channel is to help you and I both to break free from those limitations and ungodly behaviors so that we can both live our fruit-bearing lives and reach our God-ordained potential and destiny. Um, and for all my returning subscribers, hello. So thank you again for coming back. I love you. Thank you so much for your support. You all are amazing. You all are so wonderful. So I just appreciate each and every one of you in helping this ministry on this channel grow. Um, and I just continue to pray that these videos be a blessing for you. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this video. Okay, so today is a super special day because we already did one video about Bible resources or just Christian resources that I think each and every one of you should have. And some of those were just books and they were devotionals and um, just a lot of different resources. And if you haven't seen that video, then I will link it in the description box. I will also put it up here in the info box for you to go check out. But this video is for those of you that want to take it even deeper. Y'all want to go like even further into your development as a Christian um, or just as a follower of Christ. Um, then I'm going to give you a few more resources that are going to take that are going to help you to take it up another notch. So here they are. First and foremost. I think each and every one of us, I'm sure I already mentioned this in the first video that was similar to this topic, but each and every one of us needs to have a study Bible, although you're just seeing my cover. But each and every one of us need to have a study Bible. And this one, I got this years ago um, when I was in college, and this is a life application Bible. So what I love about this is that when you are reading it, it also um, has like notes. Okay, so it also has notes down below. So you have the scripture, you have some references. Oh, so you have the scripture, you have some references, and then you have notes at the bottom, which gives you even more um, perspective and understanding. So I do love a study Bible because, of, again, it just helps you to, you know, you can find one scripture and then it also shows you where another scripture in the Bible is relevant to that scripture that you're reading. So for instance, I'm reading Isaiah 1, 16, and it says, wash yourselves and make yourselves clean. Take your evil deeds out of my sight. Stop doing wrong. And then you go to the side and where it says 116, it also shows you two scriptures, or this has three scriptures that is that are relevant to that one scripture that you just wrote, read. So now you can go look up Isaiah 52, 11, and then you can go look up Isaiah 55, 7, and then you can go look up Jeremiah 25, 5, and see what God is speaking to you through now four scriptures. Um, so it's just a really great, great way to, again, um, learn more and just go deeper into his word. So I love, love, love my study Bible. This is, again, the NIV um, study Bible, and it's a life application, and I just love it. I literally want, eventually, within the next year or so, one of these bookshelves are going to be filled, like, one row is just going to be filled with nothing but different translations of the Bible, which is my next point. So now you have a study Bible, and you also want to have just a regular plain Bible, Y'all are like, Shana, is your favorite color pink? Maybe. <laughs> My grandmother nicknamed me Miss Pink, so I guess pink is just like, I don't know. 
it's special but anyway so this is just a regular Bible it's just regular um, you know no notes nothing like that it's just plain old just scripture so but even with that I love the fact that there are so that there are different translations and that's a good thing and a bad thing because some of the translations do remove some scripture which is you know not good um, however when you can use different translations you can get different or a more like broader or a clear understanding of what's being said and then also you find what speaks best to you um, I have this resource that tells you the different um, Bible translation comparison guide and I'm going to be using this to find my next two or three Bibles that have different translations. And I'm really thinking about the Amplify, Amplified um, AMP version. And then also I want to do the, the message version. I like that because it's like super plain and simple. And um, yeah, and the English Standard Version. Those are the next three versions that I really want to get. Um, so this is King James Version. Um, all right, so now you have your study Bible, you have your regular Bible. I usually take my regular Bible to church because I feel like, you know, again, the study Bible is a little bit more bulky. So I just take my regular Bible to church. That way I can just outline, you know, or, um, or highlight whatever scriptures my pastor is going over. And then next we have two of my favorite absolute favorite resources when it comes to studying the Word of God and really going deeper and deeper and deeper because now you're reading your scriptures you're highlighting and underlining and taking notes on what's speaking to you and what it, what God is saying through his word to you in that moment because again you can read the scripture and you're gonna get something completely or not even completely different but you just like a light will click after you read it again like let's say a month from now or or even a year from now or years from now like the Bible the word never dies and that's the thing like it doesn't matter how many times you read it you will get more and more out of it each and every time that you read that's why it says renew your minds and transform your life because our lives are constantly being transformed the more that we read his word apply it to his life and then go back and read his word again more and more and more so that's why we should read our word daily. Read it daily. All right, so the next tool is, this was the first tool that I ever bought when Benjamin, what? Okay, stop it. This is the first book that I ever bought when I knew that I was called into ministry and really I don't yeah it was when I was called into ministry um, and I wanted to start like going deeper into his word because I didn't really have anyone to train me and I was already in school for journalism so like in almost halfway through school so it's not like I was gonna change my major to theology but again like God wants us to you know study for ourselves study to show ourselves approved so I went and got this book which is Strong's the strongest Strong's um, exhaustive concordance the exhaustive concordance of the Bible so that's what this is and what it is is just it shows you a lot of different words, a lot of different words, and um, where they are found in the in the Bible. So let's say you wanted to let's just see, let's say you wanted to look up distress. So you're gonna see distress or distress, and then it's gonna show you how many times that word was mentioned in the Bible. So distress was mentioned 33 times, and then it gives you all 33 scriptures. Um, for that word so that's what I love about this by this book and then and that just gives us more context about how important it is or everything is important but it just gives you more context so that's one of my favorite resources and then next I have this interlinear Bible and it's Hebrew Greek and English and I love 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 this resource as well because it gives you so when you open it you have the 
Hebrew here in the, mi the middle or Greek when you get to the New Testament. So you have the Hebrew right there and then you have the, um, the English version right there. So as you read it, you can look over here to see what words were used in the Hebrew version of um, when it was being written or the Greek version. So that was, yeah. So then you go, so and then you use your concordance to look those words up so then you go to your concordance because in the back these words have numbers attached to them so in the hebrew greek version of this bible oh my gosh so in this version you have words that are attached to the greek or the hebrew word and then you take that that number and you come over here and cross reference it in your concordance um and then it has the Hebrew or Greek word um, and then it has the the meaning or the different um, ways that it, it was being used last but not least as we kind of wrap this video up these are my two other favorite resources I know you're like Shana okay like you've said that about each resource your favorite study Bible your study Bible is your favorite resource the strong concordance is your favorite resource the Hebrew Greek leaning your Bible is your favorite resource and now you have more favorite resources yes I all of them are my favorite resources like I love them all because they all have so much value they all have just different like treasures in them so Anyways, so I, 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 I love, 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 love the Rose book, ch by a book of Bible charts. I wish that I was the one that published these. I wish that I was the one that created these because these are wonderful. Like, sometimes I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish that I could just like put these on my YouTube channel or make a printable or do something, da, da, da. But anyways. Uh, one day, one day, maybe I will be able to create a resource like this. But anyways, so I love these. And I got two, I only have two of them right now. But they have a whole line of these. Like, and my goal is to get the entire, like, all, the entire series or whatever you want to call it of these Rose Book of Bible Charts, Maps, and Timelines. So this one is Bible Charts, Maps, and Timelines, and then this one is just Rose Book of Bible Charts. So in this one, it gives you like di just different topics that are super important. Um, so you know, if you if we look into these table of contents right over here, um, we see that this discusses things like who I am in Christ um, and just really a lot of different topics and I'll be using this also to come up with more topics um, to teach you all about and okay. just again you know the great thing about being a teacher and teaching is also being able to receive so I first have to receive the knowledge I first have to receive the word and have it planted in my heart and planted in the soil of my ground and then I can give that to you all too so again like the best way to learn something is to teach it and the best way to uh, kind of like remember something and kind of even apply it is to teach it and yesterday when I was thinking about like what topics I was going to talk about for the month I noticed that my mindset has kind of shifted and it's just like yes I'm making these videos for you all but I'm also making them for myself <laughs> because you know we can't just read it once and expect to remember it no we have to like go over it multiple times so with that being said this is um, such a great resource because again it just has all these different topics it has scriptures and you know just just so many different I don't even know like really how to explain it but it's a really great resource like when we're out evangelizing when we're out talking to people about Christ as we continue to have those conversations with people because yes people will have questions right and sometimes people want to know because they don't know and then other times people just want to like try to push your buttons or they just want to test you as a Christian and in those conversations you can kind of neglect those like you can neglect and avoid those and don't even waste your time with people who are just trying to like get into a debate about Christian theology or about God or Jesus or whatever like no we don't have time for that but if you have a genuine heart hold on baby okay well throw it in the trash 
But if you if you have a genuine heart and desire to understand the word of God, then we want to be equipped to be able to teach people and tell people about the goodness of Jesus and just about the different um, just the different topics of our faith and just being able to share that with them and knowing what we're talking about. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have for you today on the, the other resources that I absolutely love. How many did I name? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to say five. So the five resources that I absolutely just 100% love when it comes to really studying the word of God, these are all study tools. So this is going to help you to study and show yourself approved. All right. I love you guys so much. Have a wonderful day.